Well, Again, I'm at the Pittsburgh Foundation, and I'm meeting with Kevin Jenkins, and you are the... Senior Program Officer for Health and Human Services and the Director of Community Initiatives. And we're going to talk today again about Joyce Rothermel. Um, can you tell me how long you've known Joyce and in what roles you've known her? Yeah, wow. I, I guess um, I first met Joyce or knew of Joyce's work uh, a number of years ago. Uh, prior to joining the foundation, uh, I worked uh, for a provider organization, a uh, human service provider organization. So Joyce was a colleague of mine uh, back in those days. Um, you know, and I certainly knew of her work. Uh, the agency that I used to work for, uh, we ran a number of community-based programs. Uh, so Joyce's work was well known to my organization in terms of being a referral for some of those organizations by way of food pantries. Um, so her name was always synonymous with, you know, if, if you run a food pantry, it's like you have to know Joyce Rothermel. Um, most recently, I've been with the Pittsburgh Foundation for approximately six years. Um, and again, in my role as senior program officer, um, I got to know Joyce a little bit differently that now she uh, runs one of my grantee organizations. It, you, you know, when you first meet Joyce, um, you know, she's, she's this rather small, demure woman. Um, um, with a very sweet smile, you know, that's the first impression you get when you meet Joyce. But as you begin to engage her in conversation, or, or should I say she engages you in conversation about the work that she does, um, you quickly realize that this is more than just an executive director in, in, in the nonprofit community. This is a woman who is deeply passionate about those who are less fortunate. Um, you know, we here at the Pittsburgh Foundation pride ourselves on our, our grant making capacity to assist nonprofit organizations to care for um, what we like to say those who are most vulnerable um, within our community. And I can't think of an organization or a woman better equipped to take up the charge to care for those who are most vulnerable regarding an issue um, that many of us oftentimes take for granted. Um, having a meal every day or having the resources to to purchase groceries each and every day. For her to take up that charge, to take up that mission and do it with, su with such passion each and every day, um, again, you know, even though she is small in stature, you quickly realize that you are in the presence of a giant when it comes to this issue. Um, can you describe what it feels like to be in that presence? What is it like to be around Joyce? Well, it, again, it, it, it's, the only way I can describe that is, is Joyce is infectious. Um, you know, if you weren't on board with her vision, uh, if you weren't on board with what her agency is trying to do, very quickly into the conversation, you become a fan. Um, this is someone who you know um, right from the beginning that you want to work with, um, who you know is going to um, be a good steward of whatever resources that you can provide her with um, and someone that you kind of want to be on her team um, to be part of such an amazing mission um, again that's not just taking care of one neighborhood that's not just taking care of one community but really Western Pennsylvania you know she, she's not afraid to roll her sleeves up if you will mm -hmm. um, again she's very passionate about the work she believes in her, the mission of her organization. I also believe Joyce is a champion for the nonprofit sector in general. So, you know, being a former uh, ED of a social service organization and then seeing her through the lens of a grant maker, um, I think there's many lessons that all of us can take away. Again, each and every day, this is a woman who, you know, whenever I encounter her, whether it's a week, a month, or, or what have you, you know, she has that same joy smile on her face. She has that same determination that um, through her work, she is determined to make a difference in the lives of some of our most vulnerable citizens in this region. Um, I guess the first, the first thing that comes to mind is, uh, you know, the, the last conversation that we, we were having uh, around a, a grant request. Uh, you know, oftentimes the process is one of give and take and, uh, you know, but as you, as you well know with Joyce, um, when she has an idea in her head, she's going to see it come to fruition. Mm -hmm. um, and um, me being somewhat of a novice grant maker at the time, you know, I was doing my due diligence and asking questions and saying, Joyce, what about this? Or, you know, have we thought about it in this manner? But she's 
very clear. She's very clear in what she needs to do on behalf of, of people. Um, and pretty much at the end of the day, um, I came around to her way of thinking. Um, and I must say I was um, glad that I did um, because, again, uh, she's a very good steward of the precious, precious resources that are entrusted to her care. And I know she's making a difference out in the community. Yes, she is. Have anything else you'd like to share? Um, only that I wish Joyce all of the best. Um, she's going to truly be missed. Um, I, 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 I kind of jokingly say that um, when most people move on and, and it's, and it's a well-deserved uh, uh, rest that she, she's going to take, that you know, there are large shoes to fill. When I think of Joyce, I always think of there's a large apron to fill. Um, however, I think she has left a great legacy and a great foundation for whoever steps in uh, to take the reins of, of the food bank. And I look forward to working with that organization in the future and helping them to further their mission. Thank you so much for talking with me. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. My pleasure as well.